Hi folks, I'm very excited today to show you the Aeronaut, the maximum carry-on bag from Tom Vin. I've had mine since it first came out many years ago and uh, it's, it's done great by me. Uh, I've taken it on airplanes, on trains, um, I've taken it all over the world, uh, in the car even, and uh, it's, it's absolutely uh, wonderful for uh, traveling. I'm going to show you the outside of the bag and then we'll go inside and show you what we've packed in, in here. Um, the outside is made out of uh, 1050D ballistic nylon. Uh, this is the finest, toughest ballistic nylon uh, that you can f you can buy. Um, it's super smooth and it has a, a beautiful sheen to it. I don't know if the camera is going to capture it, but it's it's just a great fabric. Um, the zippers are YKK splash-proof zippers, so they uh, make sure that even when it's wet outside, um, the contents inside stay dry. At each end, you'll find uh, these grab handles, uh, so when you stick this bag in the overhead compartment, you can easily uh, pull it down by grabbing it at this handle. Uh, there's one at either end. On one end, uh, you also have this uh, pocket which has a diagonal opening, um, and we'll take you in there in just a moment. On the top of the bag, uh, there's a, a grab handle which has uh, snaps, and you can undo this um, if you'd like to. Um, and this is a great way if you want to just quickly pick up your bag and, and you know, you're moving along in line and you want it sitting next to you, uh, you can just grab it by this uh, grab handle. Uh, there's also a couple of uh, D-rings here and uh, you can attach a, uh, a shoulder strap. Uh, I have here uh, connected with these snap hooks the absolute shoulder strap from Tom Bin, which is um, the only strap I, w I would recommend. This is super comfortable. Um, and makes a heavy load seem not so heavy when you're walking around uh, carrying this on your shoulder. That's not the only way to carry this bag. On the back side of the aeronaut, uh, behind the zipper, you'll find backpack straps. Uh, there's a webbing loop at the top uh, that allows you to grab the aeronaut that way if you'd like to. Um, and then these backpack strap, if you'd like to use them, slide right out and they go back in if you don't want to use them, but they uh, come out and there's a little uh, clip over here, it attaches just like so, and uh, same thing on the other side, and then you have your backpack straps ready to go. Uh, they are of course adjustable uh, via this slide over here. There's also a sternum strap that can be adjusted, uh, you can tighten it or loosen it, and also move it up and down as needed using these clips. Um, you can also remove these clips, and all that's left is, is this piece of webbing right here, uh, along with the shoulder strap itself, if you prefer not to use those. So let's take you inside of our aeronaut. Uh, we're going to start with the top end pocket. Um, it, it zips all the way down here and all the way back, giving you great access to uh, the contents. The inside is lined with the steel Dyneema. Uh, there's others that are lined with the solar Dyneema, um, depending on the colors you choose. Um, inside of here I have my uh, 3D clear organizer cube. Um, this is great for liquids. I, can, I have it at the end and I can pull it right out as I'm going through security. Um, I have uh, a book to read and I have a uh, journal to write in. Um, I also have my uh, Leica Deluxe 4 camera so I can take pictures while I'm on my trip. In this end pocket um, I have here an O-ring and I have a few things attached to that O-ring. I have a, uh, a small clear organizer pouch and I've decided to put into this um, a couple of things. A pen to write with, um, which is handy for filling out things like customs forms and whatnot when you're about to land. Um, my uh, Starwood card for checking into my hotel and a boarding pass and uh, my passport and a uh, little Rhodia pad for quickly jotting down notes. Um, of course, you can also put uh, the passport and boarding pass and so forth into a passport pouch if you prefer. Um, and that'll also attach to one of these uh, uh, O-rings via a, a key strap. Um, speaking of key straps, I have my keys attached uh, to this key strap. And uh, I also have in here my Tombin wallet. Um, and there's room, you can see this pocket goes all the way down, uh, so there's room for plenty, plenty of other things in there. In this other end pocket, you can see I have my Gorillapod for uh, my camera when I, I need uh, to stand it or attach it to something. 
I have my uh, charger for my camera. I have my charger for my iPhone. And uh, I have a charger for my MacBook Pro. So guess what's inside the main compartment. Um, but before we get there, I also have here my Sennheiser headphones um, in their factory uh, pouch so that I can listen to uh, uh, better quality audio while I'm uh, in flight. Um, and that's my uh, other end pocket. Now let's go inside our main compartment of our Aeronaut. Uh, this is a U-shaped zipper. Um, this flap goes back, giving you easy access. Uh, before we go too far back, um, there's a, a mesh pocket uh, up here, and uh, I have in here a uh, super absorbent but not too big towel um, because where I'm going, I like to I need to bring my own towel. Um, this pocket uh, you can see uh, is is mesh. You know, this is great for putting AC adapters, um, your liquids, all sorts of things can go in here. Um, I have here my uh, size 4Z cache with uh, my MacBook Pro. So the nice thing about this is I can open up the main compartment, pull this right out, and go through security without having to uh, take my MacBook Pro out of my cache. Uh, moving right along, uh, what you see here is a uh, soft shell jacket. Um, it's a little bit chilly where I'm going, so I'll be able to stay warm. Um, I have in here, I'm going to show you four changes of clothes. Uh, four tops, four pants, four pairs of underwear, and uh, four pairs of socks. So, here's number one. Number two for the shirt. Number three for the shirt. Number four for the shirt. And you can see this is uh, winter wear. Uh, it's a little bit thicker. Um, the items I'm pulling out, um, and I'm also adding a jacket. So you can imagine you can put a lot more in here uh, if you're not traveling in, in the winter time. Um, I have here my first pair of pants. These are yoga pants, uh, so these are fairly thin, but then we get into some thicker items. I have a pair of cords. A pair of uh, uh, cotton pants. And a uh, pair of jeans. Then I like to tuck my underwear back here um, along with my socks so it doesn't take up too much room. So my underwear, one, two, three, four pairs. Yes, I'm showing my underwear on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, some socks. Um, one, two, three, four pairs of socks. And uh, now that we have all the stuff out of the way, I'll show you the inside of the bag. Um, you, you see the uh, uh, the steel Dyneema lining, which is just beautiful, um, as well as the uh, uh, really nice on, on, on the back side. You get to see the inside of this beautiful uh, crimson uh, 1050D ballistic nylon fabric. So this is our Aeronaut. Um, we absolutely love it. And here's a shot of everything we pack in the Aeronaut. And you see the Aeronaut complies with carry-on sizing requirements. It fits great in the overhead compartments of airplanes as well as of trains. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye now.